All right. Welcome to Ezria, the Arizona Real Estate Investors Association. This is not another Lunch and Learn where we do this every Wednesday at 12 o'clock. Uh, we invite special guests all throughout Arizona that are real estate investors, provide services to real estate investors. So it's everything real estate investing um, every Wednesday at 12 o'clock here on Zoom, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, those are our social media handles down on the bottom. So make sure to follow us um, and communicate with us and keep in touch. Um, we could always also check out Ezria.org as well to see what we got going on. So um, our purpose here, Ezria's purpose is to unlock and accelerate our members' ability to invest in real estate through education, market information, support, networking opportunities, so that they can elevate their financial well-being. Um, so I'm going to jump into what we got going on around Ezria. Um, Monday, November 14th, our monthly meeting. It's the second Monday of every month. We just had our uh, October one. It was a great event. We had almost, two, well, I think, over 250 people there. Great expert panel. A lot of information was shared. Um, so we're ready to do it again. We're starting to promote the next month, uh, November 14th. Um, that's the only event we have at venue 8600. So that's our big trade show. We call it our Phoenix monthly meeting. In addition to that, it's our 20th anniversary. We've been serving real estate investors throughout the state of Arizona for 20 years now. We're the only association, networking group, whatever you want to call it, that has been able to do that. So we appreciate all the support. The only reason we've been able to do that is because of the members. So um, we are going to be celebrating next month. We'd love to have everybody come out. Um, we're going to do our market news as always. We're going to do the social update. We're going to do um, our education panel. Um, but most importantly, we're going to be giving away uh, raffles and prizes to all our members. We've got all our business associates chip up and we buy TVs, computers and date nights and giveaways. So um, make sure to be there to try and win something. And if you want a better chance at winning something, you get raffle tickets. And how do you get those raffle tickets? You get them by donating to Maggie's Place. That's our charity that we're going to uh, support this year. It's for single mothers. So I'll break down a list of stuff of and how we can support them. But when you bring specific items that they're requesting, you will get raffle tickets and get better chances to winning prizes. So come celebrate with us. I'd love to have you there. Um, and our education for the night will be Al Williamson. Uh, and he's going to show us how to create a profitable extended stay Airbnb in 30 days using none of your own money. You may have heard of rental arbitrage. Uh, so we'll be breaking that down as the education piece. Next day, Tuesday, November 15th, we drive down to Tucson, do the same event. Um, and then up coming up soon here, the Phoenix Real Estate Club, uh, Tuesday, October 25th. That's the fourth Tuesday of every month. Um, we do the Phoenix Real Estate Club. You get a lot of information throughout the month from us, from all the different meetings, and mainly our, uh, our, our big meeting. And so we'd like to have a more uh, intimate conversation with all our real estate investors, talk about the market, talk about the type of deals we're closing, how they're being funded, what strategies are you using? Um, it's a great way to kind of see what's going on in today's market um, live, real time. So that's the only place you're going to get that is here at Ezria at the Phoenix Real Estate Club. So uh, I'd love to see you Tuesday, October 25th. Um, when, as I was mentioning with Maggie's place, here is the list of items that they are requesting. Um, these are what we will be accepting. We can't, if you just think they need something or uh, you have a great idea, which it probably will be, uh, that doesn't mean we can accept it. Okay. So this, we're trying to be very specific and accept these items, um, here on the list, we will be sending out some uh, social media and some emails and stuff with more information on the donation, um, requirements. So keep a lookout in your Ezria uh, emails as well. Um, subgroups, 12 uh, events a month, just in subgroups. We hold about 15 to 20 events a month for real estate investors, but these are specific groups for specific strategies. Okay. So check uh, Ezria.org forward slash calendar. Um, see what we got coming up. I highly recommend going to all of them because they're all real estate investors and you should be learning about all these different strategies. So you have more tools in the toolbox. However, um, if you just want to check out the one for the strategy you're in, go for it. Um, this tomorrow night, actually, we have um, the beginners group. So if you're new to real estate, um, I'm there personally answering questions. It, it, there's, it's all about networking, building relationships, and, and me trying to get you on the right path and answer your questions. So uh, come meet other new investors, like-minded investors. I'll be there to answer all your questions tomorrow night. Um, and otherwise, hit our, hit our calendar up and see what we got coming up. 
forums. So uh, outside of uh, networking in person, we now have forums on our website. So top right hand corner, Dropbox, we have about six or seven different topics, general uh, Q&A, beginners, the have and wants uh, section, uh, flipping, landlording, it's all in there. Get resources, get your questions answered, network with other investors, um, and definitely in the property postings, if you're looking for off-market properties or you're looking to, to uh, buy or sell on there, we've already sold deals on there through our members. So um, start posting your properties and seeing what's available. Um, so that's our forums, core skills. Uh, these are the five fundamental classes that we feel that every real estate investor should have when getting started. See how it flows marketing. You got to get leads coming into your business. You got to be able to, um, if, yeah, if you don't have leads coming into your business, your business will die. It's a lifeline of your, your business. So we're going to show you how to market yourself. And when that deal comes in, you got to comp it, estimate repairs. You got to know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, you're not going to be able to buy the property right. And that's the most important thing. And so once you have that offer formulated, we want you to negotiate that with the homeowner, with the real estate agent, with the wholesaler. You need some basic skills. We're actually doing that class tonight live, um, Wednesday, October 12th here at the office. So um, Marcus um, had a head out of town uh, last minute. So we have Elijah Rubin coming in um, to uh, just teach us how to negotiate uh, in real estate. So um, definitely be there. All these classes are recorded. They're in person and online. So don't miss out. You can get all five of these for 150 bucks, 10, uh, 10 hours of education, pretty much um no brainer there. So um, launch pad and group session. This this group session here is a mini business plan for your real estate business. So if you've been doing you know one two deals a year or you can't get your business off the ground, it's because you don't have a target. You don't you're not taking the right actions at the right time to build momentum and traction in your business. So um, this you'll walk away with defining these eight objectives in a workbook. You'll sit with me for four hours in in uh, uh, the rest of the group. Usually there's anywhere from eight to 15 people. So it's a pretty, pretty intimate group. Great questions, great learning experiences. Um, 30 bucks for members, $100 for non-members. That's Saturday, October 29th. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, and then we also have coming up Creative Real Estate Live with Brandon Simmons. This is this upcoming Saturday um, from nine to one here at the Phoenix office. You don't want to miss this. Um, cash always works until it doesn't. Right. So so you go and you learn how to write low offers or whatever it may be. That's great. If it works, take it. Right. But sometimes it won't work. Right. So you need to have more tools in your toolbox to understand how to provide a solution to the seller and 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 get you a profitable real estate deal. So there's other strategies such as owner carry, subject to wraps, lease, lease options, master lease options options in general, right? So these are all tools you can use to um, make deals work, especially with the changing times and changing markets. You're going to need these fundamental skills. So um, check out our calendar uh, and get signed up for that class this weekend. Once again, I was mentioning about Al Williamson coming out next month for our anniversary. So Monday, November 14th, he'll be speaking here in the Phoenix monthly meeting. November 15th down in Tucson. And then what we'll do is bring everyone back to the Azria office on Wednesday, November 16th. And we're going to analyze multifamily deals using his strategy, right? Rental arbitrage, how to, to get houses leased out, how to re-rent them out on Airbnb or extended stay programs. And, um, you know, with little to no money. So he's going to break down how he's been doing that. And if you like who he is, you like what he's about, you'll be able to check him out on our podcast. Then you could do his full day class on Saturday, November 19th from nine to three. And he'll be, you know, discussing how to generate passive income um, with or without owning rentals. All right. So um, definitely keep an eye out for Al Williamson. Every Friday morning, 7 a.m., the Azria Show launch, launches off. Uh, Marcus and Maloney, I've been doing this 46 episodes now. We just had Brandon um, on the last Friday. So you could watch it on all podcast platforms or go to YouTube. And um, especially if you're, you know, you're curious to know what he's about um, and you're thinking about coming on Saturday, uh, check out the podcast. Very uh, easy episode to watch. Um, so keep, keep supporting, keep liking, keep commenting. We really appreciate it. Actually, uh, last month we had our I was told we had our largest downloads um, ever. So, so we're definitely gaining traction uh, with this podcast. So I think we appreciate all the support. 
Um, Home Depot, if you are a member, you get access to one of the best benefits Home Depot has to offer. 2% cash back twice a year, 20% off all your liquids, appliance discounts, cabinet discounts. You only get that through here at Ezria. So make sure when you sign up as a member, you uh, connect your account properly to the Home Depot Pro account. Uh, if you need help, our front office will help you. We have videos to show you how to do it. So speaking of membership, we'd love to have you. Um, it's only $100 a year, basically a cup, one cup of coffee, a, coffee a month. Um, it, and it's pretty simple. If you're going to be coming to Ezria less than seven events a year, pay the 100 bucks. Then you go to each subgroup, five bucks. Or if you come to the monthly meeting, it'll be 10 bucks as you go. Um, if you're going to be uh, highly active, going all in, uh, $239 a year, you get access to all the subgroups for free, the main meetings for free. Uh, both programs, you get all vendor discounts available. We have outside of Home Depot, we have uh, local and national vendors, uh, that all that provide services to real estate uh, investors, and you get discounts and benefits um, if you are a member. So it's not just Home Depot. So we'd love to have you as part of our membership in our community. Um, so that's my, my thing there. Um, Rosa is in the chat box. She has links to everything I just spoke about. Like I said, once again, welcome to Not Another Lunch and Learn every Wednesday at 12. Um, if you're on Facebook and Instagram and just got here, drop your questions. Uh, we will get them answered. Um, and I have my good friend, Quan. How you doing, man? Are, are you here? I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, we can. Let me see here. I am going to give you... Did you try... Did you want to try your... Uh, slideshow one more time or are you good yeah i'll try it give me access the one with my video on there I have, oh. i'm on here twice one for my audio one with it all right thanks for being patient everyone i got Quan here and why he's getting his uh, we had a little technical difficulty but we're back at it so we're gonna try to get that slideshow up for you um but Quan, uh he is um into fitness personal fitness and he specializes in helping real estate investors. So I thought that was really unique how he's, he carved out and targeted uh, real estate investors. So I, I, I wanted to bring him on here because I know when I feel better, I have more energy. I'm working more. I'm working harder. I'm working smarter. My brain is clear. So um, I thought it was just like the right fit. I'd never seen anyone really talking about uh, health in these real estate uh, groups and classes. So I thought it would be a nice little twist for all of us to uh, learn something new outside of real estate strategies. Um, how, how are we looking, Quan? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I think uh, in order for me, uh, for let me to share, you have to stop. Yeah. Yep, throw yours on there. You should be there. And did you add me as a... Um, yeah, you should be a co-host yeah. on, on your, your other screen. Okay. Host disabled participant screen sharing. Hmm. You did the one with my video? Yep. Okay. So if anyone has any questions they want to start popping them in the in the box, we'll 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 get them answered here. And either way, um anyone online, let's see. All right, we're good. All right. Now we're well, in. Uh, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. It's probably like a settings type of thing. I don't know if it allows two people to yeah, yeah, as a co-house, but it doesn't. See if there's anything you could do for Quan to share his screen. It's probably in the settings when you give someone a co-host. Yeah, I just, if you temporarily make me like a regular host or just a make you primary like, host, that probably fix it. Take the show. It's all yours. Uh, give it back. Um, I don't know. If not, I'm just going to go off the cuff. I wanted to share the slides, but yeah, I did make you host. I can do it without it. Okay. Yeah, it's still showing the same thing. So 
It's all good. All right. Well, Quan knows enough, man. He's a pro. So we'll share the slides with everybody. Um, if you guys want them email, just let us know. We'll, if you registered for this event, we'll, we'll get them out to you. But yeah, let's just have a conversation. Let's just kick it off, Quan, man. I mean, um, script. We don't need no visuals. It's all about the information. So um, right. tell us about yourself, man. Start. Who are you? What do you do? Yeah, man. I'm so excited that you actually have me on here. Um, I'm actually a new investor as well. Mike has been helping me through the process. I've been going through those things. So I'm excited to um, keep showing up. I missed the last cash flow. But uh, a lot of people are like, man, how did you get into this real estate fitness thing like why real estate and fitness well the first thing i actually did when it came to business was trying to do real estate joined azria about 10 years ago dean graziosi doing those courses stuff mm -hmm. like that didn't know what i was doing i was probably like 18 19 at the time and um so i started a clothing line and then i actually went to school for physical therapy started my own fitness business and then I was like, man, once I started my fitness business, most of my clients were entrepreneurs because I've been doing business before that. And a lot of people in real estate. And I was like, man, I'm working business owners, executives. They all have the same problem. Let me just focus on one so I can make true transformation. Mm -hmm. um, and I chose uh, real estate entrepreneurs and investors because that's a lot of my friends, a lot of my clients. I'm like, okay, they have one specific problem. I'm going to focus on these people and go deep with them and make real transformation. So this is how I got here. And um, I have some tips and tricks for you guys. And I um, want to give you some tactical things that you can actually use um, today. Yeah. Love so, so, so you now, how long have you been doing fitness for training? Um, almost 10 years, about nine years. Yeah. And in, in how long have you been? Um, so you've been training personally or how long? Have you, okay. How about coaching or so to speak, or, or providing a service? Yeah, about nine years. Yeah. Okay, nine, the whole thing's nine years. And you just recently kind of yeah. took over the, the real estate investor category or real estate niche? Yeah, I've been working with investors and realtors uh, throughout the time. But now, um, this year, I'm solely focused on that. We actually just launched our program, Healthy Investor Program. It started about two weeks ago. And um, yeah, now I'm solely focusing on real estate entrepreneurs. Cool. So, so we're pretty laid back here. So I'll let you just, you know, talk about, you know, let us know what you're talking about today. Uh, break it down and, you know, just kick it off. And if questions pop in or if something comes to mind, I'm, I'm going to jump in and, and ask you a question. All right, cool. All right. So I'm excited to get into this. So I'm going to go through my slides. I know you guys can't see it, but um, like I said, I've been working with a lot of people and just tell me like, if this, if you, if this describes you, just put a one in the chat or a thumbs up in the chat. So if you're a real estate, if you're in the real estate industry and you want to make a bigger impact, um, but you want to start prioritizing your health as you do your business, or maybe you're short on time, um, working 12 hour days, have a little bit of time, uh, or you just want to look above average and you just need like a flexible plan that actually gets there. Um, if you want to look better, feel better, uh, you want to perform at your optimal levels. Um, I'm reading this slide, so I hope I see some ones or twos and ones or thumbs up. Or you want to be uh, work out smarter and not harder. And you just want to feel more confident in your clothes. I know with real estate specifically, you're going to a lot of meetups. If you're a realtor, you're going to a lot of open houses. So showing up, looking confidently in your clothes and how you feel about yourself is really important. So if that describes you, put a one or a thumbs up in the chat. Yes. You see any ones, any thumbs up? Any well, thumbs okay. up, come up. Um, hey, I put a one in there. I'm guilty. And Quan has yeah. a, <laughs> a great survey. <laughs> and, he, you know, yeah. I, I'm sure how many people you think you've interviewed so far on that survey? Yeah, speaking of it, yeah, before I actually got into this, I interviewed over 100, like over 100 real estate entrepreneurs. And mm -hmm. um, the, the major pain points what people are saying was like, um, it's hard to eat healthy when I'm busy, um, have a busy schedule. I feel like I know what to do, but it's hard to stay consistent. Um, or people will say things like my identity. I feel like it doesn't match my body. Like I feel like I'm a high achiever. I'm a high entrepreneur. My body doesn't really match. Um, things like drinking is hard to stop. Like, I don't know what to eat when it comes to nutrition. Um, I'm not self-motivated or I just don't have like a routine. I don't have any time to work out. I'm not disciplined. 
Mm-hmm. And um, I heard this one from my friend Tristan too. He's like, well, I'm married, you know, I got kids, I'm already kind of stable. So when I'm working out, it kind of feels like a chore. Like my main business, my primary, my finances is my primary thing. And working out feels like a chore. So does that is this relatable? I want to make sure I'm giving like good content. Yeah, is this I'm, relatable I'm, so far? I'm sure it is, man, because uh, if you've re- interviewed over 100 people and you start seeing patterns, um, uh, you know, all us real estate investors are alike in some way. So <laughs> I got some thumbs up. Yeah. Adam, do you have a question or are you just thumbs up and you agree? Be sure. But if you have a question, let me know. Yeah. So um, all of this is like from real data that actually took the people last week. I was actually talking to a guy. He's in California, a real estate um, entrepreneur. He's an investor. And, and one of the things, this is tip number one, is realize that you may be emotional eating. So I know as entrepreneurs, um, I've been an entrepreneur for like the last 10 years. As entrepreneurs, every week, it could be like an emotional roller coaster. You can be having wins. You can, you know, losses, all kind of stuff that can kind of trigger your emotions. And then a lot of times we take that out on our food and how we eat and how we interact, you know, in our relationship with food. So the investor I was actually talking to, he was like, man, I just get frustrated. Like I'm finding deals. But I just get frustrated. So I just go eat and I just get back on the computer and I just work and I just sit there and I kind of eat. But he doesn't realize he's doing it. I'm like, well, I see that a lot, you know. Uh-huh. But we don't realize that, man, we are, I might be an emotional eater, you know, because business is emotional. Mm-hmm. Um, so when we're in stress, we look for things like sugar, fat, alcohol, and we do this like throughout the day. So we need to realize that food doesn't just affect us physically, like our, you know, our body, you're putting on pounds, our weight. What actually affects us emotionally as well. So it affects our mood, you know, affects our energy, and which in turn that's going to affect your business. So I'm glad you put me on here because mm-hmm. the people who don't really prioritize their health sometimes they don't see the connection, and once they see it, it helps elevate them. So I've seen that in past clients. So um, some signs that you may be doing this is you might be eating while you're full, um, like the guy I just described. You might not even realize you're just eating um, without even thinking about it. Uh, you might be feeling guilty after you, after you eat, and I'm sure we all done that. Like, man, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have had that, you know. Mm-hmm. Or you might just be eating, eating on the go, uh, a bunch of fast food, or even skipping meals. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to chime in, or you want me to keep going, but that is, that's the first one. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll chime in. Um, or even like you know, especially with COVID or when you start working from home. Um, I, I don't know. It's like a distraction too. You're like, yo, I'm gonna go check out the fridge real quick. See what's, see what's going on. What's new over there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, bet. I don't know why. Yeah. Just... Right. Yeah. And we don't, we, don't, we, it's just business is really emotional and food comes with that. And um, yeah, especially with real estate. I don't know why I've just been seeing it. So today I'm going to give you at least a couple strategies that you can actually use for that. All right. Okay. I wish you guys could see my slides, but I'll, you know, send it oh. over. So the first thing that you could do. I don't know why it's not working, man. You're the host too. I know it's weird, man. I get on Zoom all the time. But so the strategy that you could do. So the first thing that you could do is you can put a little dot. You can use a marker or a pen. Just put a dot on your hand as a reminder. As like, am I just eating because I'm stressed? Like, am I sad or I'm overwhelmed? So when you're eating, you'll, you'll look at your hand and, and you really stop and think. So that's one of the quick things you can do. Another thing you Wait, can so do is put a, dot, a dot on your hand. Mm-hmm. So in the beginning of the day. Or yeah, something. just like you said, what would you say? You put a dot on my hand, the hand mm-hmm. I eat with. And what's it supposed to do? Just re- remind me like that's like your trigger, like don't eat. It's your trigger to look at that. And I'm going to go a little bit more into it. Okay. But it's a trigger to look at that and you're going to be like, okay, am I just mindlessly eating? Am I emotional eating right now? Do I need to stop? Okay. Um, another thing that you could do is uh, chew gum to kind of stop you in your track and that kind of satiates you. It doesn't make you feel as hungry. Um, or, you know, if you are hungry, just keep some healthy snacks around, almonds, carrots, a little snack pack, stuff like that. Um, but a thing that's really cool, if you guys um, can't see it, but if you go to Google and you just look up Word Wheel, um, Mel Robbins has this really good thing too. So it's called Word Wheel, and it's going to help you identify your emotions. 
Um, like I said, business is a really emotional roller coaster thing. So the average person, when we get emotional, we only can really name about three emotions. We just either happy, sad, or angry. But it's probably like hundreds of different emotions. Um, so the secret to getting freed up is to describe the word on how you're feeling, like in the moment. I know me, I do sales calls. I do a bunch of different things. I'm looking for deals myself. Um, and it can, you can feel a lot of different emotions and you take that out of your energy. So once you um, identify the emotion, instead of just reaching for those bags of chips or that Sunday, you can move through those feelings. So on this word wheel, if you can see it, like I'll send it to you guys later, it shows you different words. So if you're feeling stressed out and you're looking on the word wheel, you're like, man, I didn't close that deal today. Maybe I feel, you know, do I feel inadequate? You know, you'll find the words like, okay. Yeah, maybe I feel an attic and you can actually work through those feelings instead of just like trying to eat your way out of those feelings. Um, so look up Word Will. You can download that and then put that somewhere, maybe in front of your desk to work at home. And then if you're feeling like, all right, I'm just start emotional eating, figure out the emotion that you're going through and then try to work through that. So um, got it. So kind of just really you're just you're catching yourself. And you're changing mm -hmm. your thought process. You're you're distracting yourself in a way, or going down the right, different route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, word wheel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, does this sound like you? Like, have you tried to eat better, uh, but couldn't stay consistent with it? Uh, maybe you feel like embarrassed with your clothes off, or a lot of people are you working out, but you're not really seeing results. Um, the guy who's going through our program right now, he's like, man, I work out six times a week, but and I'm fat, like I still don't feel like I'm really getting the results or I tried all these programs, but nothing really is helping. Um, you know, are you too busy to work out an hour a day? Do you quietly beat yourself up? Um, if any of those sound like you just put a one or put a thumbs up. All right. Well, so, so, all right. So um, where are you going with that one? So I'm going to go through number two. Number two. Okay. So we got the eating emotional. Number two. Yep. And number two, we're going to speed it up too. But number two is uh, start tracking your habits. Um, so I don't track my food. I track my habits. And I always say this is the number one thing that helps me with my fitness results over the course of time, like hands down. Seems so simple. And I recommend the book, Atomic Habits. If you haven't read that, download that book on Audible or buy that book. I promise you it's just going to change everything for you. So tracking your habits. Um, it, kind of, it just gives you awareness of actually where you're at. Um, a lot of clients I've worked with in the past, they're like, yeah, I feel like I'm eating pretty good or yeah, I kind of work out, but they don't know exactly where they're at. So tracking your habits give you a clear roadmap of, okay, this is exactly what you're doing. And it gives you like a clear clarity. You know, most people feel like they lack motivation, but what they really lack is clarity. Um, so if you're to improve by 1% each day, for an entire year, and those gains kind of compound, you'll be 37% better. Um, so the app that I use is called Habit Share. It's like a green app. So if you on your phone or you can write this down, download an app called Habit Share. It's like a green check mark. It literally takes like two seconds to actually use it. The four habits I have my clients actually track is their food, um, their water, their sleep, and their exercise. So if you just track those four, the food. Just say like, okay, if I feel like I ate pretty good today, give yourself a green. If I did any type of exercise, give yourself a green. Um, sleep, if you get six to eight hours, give yourself a green. And water, if you had at least half your body weight in ounces, give yourself a green. So I'm giving you guys some gems. If you actually use this stuff and apply it, it's going to change everything for you. Um, and when you're doing this, try to optimize for the starting line and not the finish line. So what I mean by that is... When you're tracking your habit, everybody wants to be, you know, ripped up or in shape or all this stuff. But you got to start where you are. If you don't work out at all, start where you are. Just baby steps. You know, don't try to go from zero workouts a week to five workouts a week. Don't try to eat eating fast food every day to meal prep in seven days a week. So optimize from the starting line and not the finish line. Okay? So, so what you're saying is we're we're building new new habits, eating habits, and exercise habits before anything. Is, is, yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yep. so food, water, sleep, and exercise. 
And um, mm-hmm. is that is that like a paid app or is it free or? Uh, no, it's a free app, okay. and I like it because you can um, add friends with it, and it actually gives you a trigger. So with a lot of my clients, what I do is I. I have myself with them. So every time I do a habit, it gives them a trigger. Or every time they do a trick, they do a habit. It gives me a trigger. Like, oh, yeah, let me get my water in. Let me do this. So I got my water right here. Yep. And um, there's a really thing that you can do with the community, with your friends, anything. So, kind of sounds like real estate here, like our KPIs, right? You're just right. back in your writing offers as you're marketing out, right? All that Exactly. Stuff. Yeah. That's why I tell my clients, treat your body and your health like your business. And that goes right into number three. Um, if you feel like working out like is a chore for you or you feel like, man, I just don't have time for that. Like I need to get my real estate business on point. My finances are like the most important thing. Um, I agree. It is. But just think of it like this. Try to create some pillars for yourself. This is what I do. Like at the end of the day, I rate myself each day on my five pillars. So I look at my faith my fitness, my family, my finances, and my freedom. So each day, you're not going to kill every area, but each day, if you can make small deposits in each of those areas, you will have that compounding, you know, impact over the course of time. So um, a lot of times what I see people do, and this is why I'm so excited about this, because people who are investors or just any other business, really, they put all the energy into their finances, And then all the other ones kind of go down. So if you have $100 million, but your your health is horrible, you'll all give that money away just to kind of get your health back. So health is really wealth. You want to try to have a balance of everything. Of course, you don't want to put everything in your fitness and not your finances, but make sure you make those daily deposits. So think of this one. What kind of pillars can you have for yourself? Um, My five, again, are faith, fitness, family, finances, and freedom. Faith, family, faith, fitness, family, finances, freedom. So what have you learned from working with all these real estate professionals? Because I'm guilty of that too. It's like, I got to get my day started, man. I got to get to work. I got to do this. And you feel like you're, you're missing out or something, right? On, you know, uh, in your business when you don't go work out and you kind of train yourself, to think that's right or whatever. So what are some things, like, obviously you're going over these habits like but learning from other what are some of your clients say that made the change like what made them switch outside of like your tips here is there anything mentally that they said or any good quotes or any good thoughts that they share with you yeah what made uh so your question is what made them like make the switch of actually like getting it done um yeah honestly i would say you have to be in a specific place in your journey to make the switch Mm -hmm. um True. Because, you know, sometimes it has to be just like maybe a day you're like, I'm just tired of like feeling like this or you might go to the doctor. So on, if you want the honest answer, that's what really people, that's what makes people like, I know, you know, my client, Jesse, probably he's like, yeah. man, I'm winning in business, but I'm just, I just get to a point where I'm just frustrated with myself. Like, okay, I can do better than this. Like, and then, you know, when you seek help, that just makes a switch. So I hope that kind of answers the question. So when you kind of just get fed up, of like how that's going yeah yeah when but the, if you never get to that point you're you're not gonna make a change honestly got it, got yeah. it. good 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 yeah and that kind of goes into my next thing i'm almost done too is for a lot of people say man that always sounds great but i just don't have time to work out you know um but first off like if you have this mindset just realize that we always make time for what's important to us um and we always know that is an excuse. So I'm going to just give you some fitness tips now. I said a little bit about the nutrition. Make this mindset shift. Um, I know if, if you're like most people I've worked with in the past, like your mind has told you this, like, all right, I need to lose this extra fat. So let me go to the gym. Let me hop on a treadmill or let me get on a Stairmaster elliptical. Let me go for a walk or run or maybe let me just get on my Peloton for like 30 minutes. But what a lot of people do is they get caught up in the cardio trap cardio is good you definitely need your heart to be pumping and everything like that but the problems that i have with cardio is that sometimes cardio actually makes you eat more because cardio is going to actually burn calories and then that elevates what's called your ghrelin levels like your hormone levels that actually increases your hunger hormone 
So your hunger is actually going to increase the more cardio you do. And plus, number two is this cardio just takes a lot of time. So if you're running short on time, it takes a while to, you know, go to the gym, get on the treadmill, do a bunch of just stuff like that, or go run. Um, and you have to do it constantly to actually keep the results. Mm -hmm. um, I try to teach my client more, more efficient things because when you're doing a bunch of cardio and not doing strength training, you're missing what's called the afterburn effect. Um, so when you're doing more strength training, um, your calorie, you're still burning calories even after you're working out, right? Um, and if you're doing excessive cardio, actually waste your muscle. So I work with men specifically. I work with women as well, but the program is specifically for men. Usually men want to build muscle and trim fat. So we try to find effective ways to actually do that. So I always tell people this stat right here is like, if you have 10 pounds of body fat, um, that's going to burn about 20 calories a day. But if you have 10 pounds of muscle, it's going to burn about 50 calories a day. So it just shows them like the just more than double the calories you actually burn, which means that you can actually eat more of the food that you enjoy if you're burning more calories, if you're being more efficient about it, you have a faster metabolism. So we want to just be efficient about your training. Um, I had a slide on here. I was like, all right, cool. Let me give somebody some tactical stuff. So if you're watching this video, if you're listening to this, buy a pair of dumbbells. I call it just a five by five method. It's going to take you 10 to 15 minutes, five by five workout. So just five workouts, do five rounds, all right? Each one, five sets. So first one, jumping jacks. The second one, you're going to do squats to a shoulder press. So you're just going to squat with the weight, push it up over your head. Uh, next one is curls. Next one is push-ups. And the next one is sit-ups, all right? So that's five workouts. You're going to repeat that five times, five sets each one, all right? And that's going to take you 10 to 15 minutes to get down. So if you have a pair of dumbbells and a little bit of space in the house, use the five by five workout to get started. As you get better, number one, it's going to be like, man, if I can do this, I'm going to add a little bit more to it. So that 10 to 15 might turn into 30. Um, and each week you'll get better. It'll be easier to start adding reps to that. So it's something simple that you can actually do and try if you're running short on time. So it looks like it covers like your whole body in some level. Yeah. Yeah, it covers your whole body, core, legs, everything. Yeah. And the last one, I always say, but did you have a question? Before no, no, I go no, no. Through? Keep going. All right. Yeah. And the last one, I would say, is just invest in a coach, um, especially business people. We invest in coaches and everything else that we do, um, coaches, mentorships. But when it comes to our health, we don't really you know, feel like, ah, I kind of got this. But I tell people, like, I get it. Hiring an expert is it's a mental shift because it's something that people are used to when it comes to that. Um, but I always tell people, if you already had everything you needed to kind of get you in the best shape of your life, well, why haven't you done it so far? And why have you been kind of going back and forth? So I like to ask it this way because it kind of just gives people thinking. And, um, yeah, having a coach kind of helps you see those invisible landmines. Uh, that's probably destroyed your progress in the past. And uh, something that people don't think about is fitness and nutrition is, you know, information you can just really find out online, but it's not enough. So information, if information alone was enough, a lot more people would be at the top of their game, right? Yeah. So uh, the real transformation comes from an identity shift. So that's why I talk about habits. That's why I talk about psychology, things like that, because once you have that shift in that mindset, um, you're kind of too close to yourself to see what's going on. But if you have a coach, it's like, all right, Mike, I know what you're doing, but let's try to make these tweaks. It makes a world of difference. So um, I think that yeah. accountability, accountability oh, yeah. too, right? Like um, if I give you my word, like I'm going to go all in, right? You, you, you you're being called out on it, you know, also helps. Oh my gosh. So if you can see my slide, that was exactly what I said on a new slide. Oh, really? <laughs> Somebody's called, it says accountability, Vic, and it says it will call you out on your BS, you know, and push you when things get tough. So, it does. It does get yeah. tough. Man. Yep. So, yeah. Man. So this is a hybrid, right? So it's like habits, right? Right. Well, your mindset, enough is enough, right? You make the change, your identity shift, um, work on the emotional eating create better habits on a daily basis, just like anything consistency uh, compounds over time. Um, but, but it's, it's, it's on both sides though, exercise and eating. Cause I, I think I've been guilty of going to the gym five, six days a week, but then like, I worked out hard. I'm going to go 
go out to dinner now and celebrate, right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, yeah. We see that a lot too. Yeah, I had a client today, he's an investor in uh I think he's in Texas. He's like, Man, I work out six times a week and I do two hours at the gym, but man, I'm still I still eat a lot and I'm still I don't know what to do. So what in our program, our healthy investor program, we just try to give you a fast track of everything we worked on our clients in the past. And we just try to give you a blueprint and execute on it, give you accountability coaches and make those tweaks. So uh, I appreciate you guys listening to this. And um, what I did too for you getting me on the call is uh, anybody who watches this or reaches out, um, just have the code Azria and that'll give you 20% on our, um, off our programs. Awesome. Well, appreciate that, man. 20%. Uh, so what about like, um, I don't know, like, where do you get started, man? Like, everyone's different, right? Everyone's body shape, the way, you know, maybe different foods. Like, do you do anything or help anyone with, like, the type of stuff you should be eating and the type of workouts that they should be doing to match? Like, do you help out in that in that way? Yes. Yeah, for sure. We typically, with clients, we'll do, like, a, a nutrition audit um, before anyone actually starts a program. So we'll do a nutrition audit. And one of the biggest things is, when people ask for like, man, what type of meal plan should I do? What type of workout should I do? Anything like that? Um, we tell them to write at least three days of as far as meals, like what you're eating. Then that right there kind of changes everything. They're like, oh, wow. Like just having awareness of what I'm doing. Cause now we can make like journaling, next step. journaling yeah, your just, meals. Yeah. You don't uh, have to keep doing it consistently, but that's like the first thing we do is like, all right, so if I was working with you, Mike, all right, well, I'm going to need three days. Don't go out and try to eat super healthy. Just live your regular life. Yeah. And then let's analyze that and see how we can make more quality meals. So I'm not trying to change your whole lifestyle. You don't have to log your food. But how can we eat more effectively with your lifestyle, but have awareness of what you're doing? You know, if you're doing real estate, you can't just be doing a bunch of different work and you're not really tracking what you're doing. You're not analyzing. So that's why you guys have coaches and mentors like, all right. I don't know what you call that group, but I think the launch pad, like mm -hmm. it's as similar as that. Like, okay, let's get a clear path of where we're at right here. Where do you want to go? And then let's make adjustments. So, so do you, do you, so there's meal prepping and then there's also those companies that provide meal prepping. What do you, do, do you do any of like, what do you do? So I don't, I don't uh, do those companies that actually provide a lot of times because I just don't like how it tastes. You know, I like for my own seasoning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I work from home too. I have the you know the ability to just meal prep and do my stuff. But um, I'm not like a meal prepper for a full week personally. Mm -hmm. um, I like to meal prep for two or three days, and then you know do another couple of days. I don't like eating the same thing for a whole week. But I tell people everybody's different. Once you find a strategy that actually works for you. Um, then you can go from there, but, um, we have everything in a course and we can kind of help you out. Like, all right, cool. Where are you at? Are you a person who loves the meal prep or are you a person that just like, I just need simple things on the go? Um, you know, it's usually those two, two things. Either you're really on the go or if you're like, I just meal prep and just give me something mm -hmm. simple. So, yeah. So, so is that a, um, I've also heard in the past, is that actually not good, like good for you in a way to reach your fitness goals if you're eating the same thing every day? Or does it not matter? Honestly, no, it doesn't matter. I haven't heard that before. Someone no. said it's not. No, you can, as uh, long as you're within your macros as far as like your protein. When I say macros, your protein, fats, and your carbs. Uh -huh. um, so if you eat the same thing every day, you definitely can reach your goals um, doing it like that. If you're a type of person that can eat the same thing every day. But a lot of people get burned out and then they try these diets, these quick fix diets to try to do that. And then they might drop a bunch of weight and then they'll kind of yo-yo back and forth. So we teach people an effective way that you can still eat out. You can have your drinks. You can have certain things. You're going to live regular life, but you don't have to restrict yourself so much. God, see, I give all my um, fitness information on TikTok. So, you know, oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm so right now. <laughs> yeah. And these, awesome. yeah, this, all this information for real people that we actually work with, this is like what people have told us as oh. well. So, that's awesome. This Do you is have not like, what I think. Does anyone, you know, online, Facebook, Instagram, here on, on Zoom, definitely pop in your questions for Quan. Um, so what I, I took gave you the co-host or the hosting, so I don't have your slide up with your picture. Um, but how do we get you have a website? You have a phone number? Like how, how does anyone get in touch with you if they just had some questions? Or do you like a consultation yeah, sure. like that? Will you just like chat with people, just kind of see where they're at? 
Yeah, we do a free fitness assessment. So if you can, you can find that on my Instagram at BeFitNominal. I know it's kind of hard to spell. BeFit, B-E-F-I-T-N-O-M-E-N-A-L. Um, so that's how you spell that. BeFitNominal. And my number is 602-718-7699. And I'll be around at the Azria events as well. But so my name is Jaquan Newsom. You can find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook. I post a lot on there. And um, yeah, pretty open book. If you just look on my page, you probably can find a lot of information as well. Love it. Love it. Um, question, question. And I, I know you said that you don't care for cardio. What is the correct balance of weight training versus cardio? Nice. Um, that's a good question. Um, a lot of times it depends, you know, sometimes I can't give people a clear answer, but if you're, I would just say, Chapman, if you're working out five times a week, um, at least do two or three. So it's not really the days, it's probably the timing. So each workout you can fit about 10 to 15 minutes. So two to three days out of your week, you could do cardio. I would say two. If I was working out five times a week, only like two of my days I'm doing cardio and the rest I'm doing strength training because I want to keep my metabolism going. Um, so if you want to call that a ratio, what is that, like two to five? Something like that. So, um, yeah. So, so we saying, just put it off. So you're yeah. saying lifting the weights builds muscle, which ultimately burns fat and calories? Is that what you're For saying? Sure, yeah. More yeah, when cardio. you build more muscle... Yeah. And a lot of times what we do actually Chapman is we build, um, hit programs. So we, we kind of combine the strength training and kind of make it feel like cardio. So you're still getting that pump and you're like, Oh man, I'm sweating. My heart is pounding, but you're lifting weights. So I build, you know, sometimes I build programs that are, uh, more hit focused. So you're lifting the weights, but you're like, man, I'm feeling like I'm doing cardio because I'm, you know, I'm going so much in a shorter break. So the way we design it, um, feels the same way. So a lot of times, maybe once, one or two times out of the week, out of five, I have them just doing straight cardio, but most of the days you're weight training. I hope that answered your questions. Anybody else have questions, feel free to ask. Love it. Love it, man. Um, cool, man. I think that was great. A lot of great tips, man. I like the motion leading, the tracking, the habits. I like the, the five by five method because um, I'm, I'm guilty of like yeah, I need more time, you know, so um, that's a huge way to get started. And I know once you start combining the both, like you're saying, eating better and exercising, you start, you, you know, like you said, you'll start lifting more, you're more encouraged, you, you have more energy, you, you're stronger, right? And it's kind of all just starts to snowball together. So it works out, man. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate you having me on too, for sure. Oh, anytime we'll do it again. I mean, we're going to get, we're going to have you on the podcast. Um, so look out for Quan at the local meetings. He'll be around. You got to call him out on asking him where his rental properties are as well. Just like he's going to call you out on your fitness. So look on at, look on what one at two o'clock today. I'm making you proud, Mike. What, oh, really? Yeah. I found one that matches what I want. So I'm going to look one after this. Yep. All right. What part of town? Uh, I don't know. I got the address. Central right, Phoenix yeah. or where the... Central yeah. Cool. yeah, man, go for it. Yeah, if you have any questions, reach out. Let me know if you need a second pair of eyes. Um, but yeah, Quan, I appreciate you being here, sharing the the healthy world with us. Um, I definitely recommend it to everybody. And um, yeah, this will be uh, replayed on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and then we'll also have it on our YouTube page here shortly for the next couple of days. So um, yeah, no other questions, man. I appreciate your time and uh, I'll be seeing you soon, man. All right. Thanks for having me.